is so much to catch you up on. So I am back in the RV for right now. Some of you guys knew that I was moving. I told you on my Instagram. There's still a few things back at my old house. I have to go get them on Saturday. But thing is, there is a huge storm blowing over where I'm at right now. And moving these things in the back of a truck it's not a great idea while it's raining and windy so we're gonna wait till the storm blows over to um, bring my stuff out of that house if you're wondering why I'm in the RV basically being here is way cheaper than being in that house and right now I'm just trying to save up and keep working until I can get a new place I I feel good actually I wasn't sure how I was gonna feel being back here um, but I'm actually fine. Last night was my first night in here and it felt good. It felt really peaceful. My plans for the future, I don't have any set in stone for right now. Something I've been really thinking about is going to an art school. I know stuff like that gets really expensive. Um, and plus I would have to move somewhere expensive wherever the art school is. But that's definitely been on my mind. I turned 20 on Monday and I was just chilling by myself. I decided to treat myself and to go out for a walk. And so I did. I had my favorite meal, which is poke bowl. Poke, poke bowl? Poke bowl just sounds so wrong. Anyway, the people at the restaurant gave me a free, it was a Thai quesadilla they called it. They said that it blew up on TikTok and people kept coming in asking if they had it. They didn't so they invented it and they were giving it out for free to certain people to try it. And <laughs> so I got a free Thai quesadilla. So yeah, that was my birthday spent alone. <laughs> I've been watching this YouTuber called The Purple Palace and she is really diligent in her vlogging. She just films herself living in Paris. It's just her by herself most of the time because um, she just split up with her husband and she just, but she still makes these beautiful vlogs and she says that it helps her like, it makes her feel like she has these friends in her pocket basically and she's doing all these things with these people who are in her camera, you know? Um, I have work here in, oh my God, literally like 20 minutes so I'm gonna go to work the thing that sucks is it gets dark super early so I would like to do something after work but I get off at 5 and um I think it's gonna be dark by then but we'll see if I do something <laughs> you and me together <laughs> I finished work the clouds look so nice right now and um, I don't know why I thought it would be dark right now but it's not but it's also so cold I don't want to really go anywhere I don't know what to do I think I'll just go home and um, Clearly I have a lot of unpacking to do. I'm still bringing more over tomorrow, so. I guess I'll just spend tonight getting more settled. The water heater's on, so I'm gonna take a shower soon. Like, since this pandemic, I just wanna be clean when I come home from work, and um, whatever. Yeah, I'm just watching Bob's Burgers, and gonna enjoy my salad.
I have to tell you guys actually a really funny, awful story that I was reminded by because this bracelet just came in the mail. Oh my god. <laughs> so it started on Christmas Day when I got um, a gold bracelet for Christmas for my boyfriend. And it was like real gold and of course I'd wear it every day. I never took it off. And then a couple weeks ago I look on my wrist because I was going to like play with it, like fidget with it, you know? And I'm like... It's gone. Like, it's just completely gone from my wrist. I have no idea when it left because I never took it off. So I'm like, oh my god, it's it's gone. So I literally, I have 200 IQ for thinking of this. I went through all my photos and looked at um, any photos of myself that I had. Monday morning, January 11th, I still had it on. And then Tuesday morning, January 12th, it was gone. I have no idea when it left my wrist and I felt so horrible. Not only for me because I lost my bracelet, but also because he got it for me for Christmas and I lost it. I literally, <sighs> I had it for 17 days and then I lost it. <laughs> so the story behind this, <laughs> me and my best friend, we were shopping for replacements because I'm like, what if I just replaced it and like never said anything? <laughs> this is so bad. I'm so sorry. Oh my God. I forgot I bought this because it was like a... Uh, an affordable replacement and I'm like maybe it'll look like it and um, I of course ended up telling him the truth that I lost it and that I feel so bad about it um, yeah that was horrible so I just got this in the mail and honestly it looks a lot like it but um it's definitely not as expensive as the other one was <laughs> that's just the worst feeling ever is like wasting someone else's gift on you or something. I don't know, I just feel so bad. Have you guys ever lost something really important to you and did you ever find it again? Or did it just disappear into the void like my bracelet did? Tell me about your stories in the comments if something tragic has ever happened to you like this. <laughs> I'm gonna take a shower. I wanted it. It is sunny today and clear and not raining. And so I'm gonna go to work this morning. I might go for a run. I'm thinking about that because I haven't been physically active at all. And then um, I'm gonna go to my old house, pick up the last of my stuff and finish moving in here. editing and yes I dress like a crusty hobo there's nothing wrong with that I'm not seeing any people so no one's gonna judge me okay <laughs> There is nothing, except the stuff that was here when I got here. I've been here since June. January, time to go. Something about the J months, it's crazy. Oh, wait. <laughs> Should I leave these here? These are um, spiders that I taped on the wall. I don't know if they'll want those. Probably not. I'll go ahead and take those. Well, I'm gonna throw them away. <laughs> And 
endless more piles pile up. I just can't believe I have so much stuff. Where did all this stuff come from? Where was it hiding? Why is there so much? We're gonna get it done. It's so sunny and beautiful and like I'm so happy. My plants are getting sun. Isn't that wonderful? There you go. Yes! Oh my gosh, shine bright. I'm sorry, I'm literally the crazy RV lady, but it's fine. Great, now she's getting sun. Amazing, wonderful, life is good. I was listening to music and I put on Taylor Swift, her, a song from Folklore, I think, and it just immediately just relaxed me just hearing her voice so much that I was inspired and I wrote this bit in my notes. It says, fear, fear and uncertainty are not exclusive to our own experience and yet we can comfort each other with just our words, songs, and love. And it's cool that even though we're all alone and have our own struggles, that even through something simple like our voices, our words, our melodies, any of those things can bring comfort and peace to the chaos of someone else's world.